Hi guys, so I just wanted to come on here real quick um, and show you what my Andebu hair looks like straightened. I did another video reviewing the hair, so I'm not going to go through what I like and what I dislike about it. Um, if you want to check that out, please check out the other video. But I did straighten it today. I just washed it and I just straightened it. So I just wanted to come on here and um, let you see what it looks like straightened. So here's how long it is. My longest length is a 22 inch. Um, I feel like it straightens really well. It's blended with my natural hair. I have about this much leave out and I don't have a relaxer. And so I feel like it blends really well. It looks really natural when it's straightened. So I do really like that about the hair. Um, so also while I'm on here, I just wanted to give a quick review on some of my favorite products that I've tried in the past year um, that I really like. Um, I am super busy, so I don't have time to be, you know, real detailed, but if you have any questions or anything, you can let me know and I'll answer them. But my first thing that I really like is, um, my Dose of Color lip products. So I love liquid lipsticks. I wear them all the time. Um, some of my favorite brands are Colored Rain, um, Kat Von D, Jeffree Star, Dosa Colors, I even like Kylie Cosmetics. Um, but yeah, I'm not like, I haven't found too many that I, I hate so far, but, um, this color that I'm wearing, I'm actually blending two colors. I typically blend colors I typically never find a color that I just love by itself like I always blend two colors and so currently I am blending bury me and bury me too um I just like them together better than one over the other and another product that I really have enjoyed is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lip Scrub um this is great for exfoliating your lips and you really have to exfoliate if you're going to wear liquid lipstick. This stuff is really amazing. I mean, you can do a homemade version, um, which I also do sometimes just with honey and sugar and that works great too. So either way, but I love this. I love the smell um, and the taste is good. <laughs> um, but also... Because I'm so busy, like, I just don't have a lot of time to apply makeup every day. And so one product that I really like is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I feel like this stuff is great. Um, it just gives you a really good coverage. I apologize. I'm wearing it right now, but my lighting and camera is just not good. So you really cannot see it that well, but it's the Rich Caramel. Um, very pretty. I feel like it matches my skin tone pretty well. Um, they have so many colors. Um, so it is pretty easy to find one that really matches. Um, you might have to mix two. Sometimes I do mix two. I mix this one and I mix one that's one shade darker. But a lot of times I can just wear this and be okay. So the next beauty product that I have tried for the past year that I really enjoy is Beauty Counter um, um, skin products. So one of my classmates kind of introduced me to these products and I love them. They're supposed to be safer for your skin and I can already tell that they are, they are safer for your skin. I have very sensitive skin. Um, I cannot use a lot of different products. Um, I will break out, I get really itchy. But I have been using this for about a year now, and it is awesome. So I use the um, Nourishing Cream Cl Cleanser and the um, Nourishing Day Cream and the Nourishing Night Cream. Um, and these products are amazing. Like my face does not itch after them. And actually I have been having less breakouts, um, 
since using these products. Um, so I am very satisfied with these products and I cannot wait to try some different kind. Um, I have been meaning to do so, but I've just been so busy, <laughs> but I will be trying more of their products soon. And so the last thing that I'm going to talk about, which is more so on the fashion side this year. So like I said earlier, I'm a finance director for a school district and I was very nervous about taking that job. Um, I was 28 years old when I took the job. I've been doing it for two years now. I just, I was really nervous. Um, I felt like it was a big role. Um, and I kind of felt intimidated being so young, but luckily I have had some very amazing mentors that have helped me along the way. And so as a reward for myself, I told myself if I made it through one year of my job and I successfully made it through my first audit that I was going to, um, treat myself to something special and so I did it. I made it through my first year. I had a good audit. And so I decided to get the Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26. Um, it was sold out like everywhere. And so I couldn't get it. Um, I couldn't find it online. In a couple stores I tried, I couldn't find it. Um, so I went on eBay and I was able to get it on eBay. Um, but yes, I love this bag. I've been seeing this in different pictures and things on Instagram and I love it. So I guess it's really supposed to be like a toiletry bag for all your toiletries. But um, I've been seeing people wear it as a clutch and that's how I wear it. And so here it is. This is the biggest size that it comes in. Um, I feel like it's very spacious. I don't wear it often just because I collect bags and I just kind of want them forever. <laughs> so I just don't like to wear them out. But I do um, wear this one every once in a while. And it does fit, you know, quite a bit. I try not to put too much in it because, you know, I don't want the bottom to just, you know, kind of sink. But um, I can fit a lot. Like, I typically will take my cards out of my wallet, but if I just am rushing and I don't have time, my whole wallet fits. And then I'll typically put my phone and I can fit a lipstick and then my keys and that's it. That's all I put in it. Because like I said, I just, I don't want to make it too heavy. And so everything fits perfectly. And there's still a little room. Um, but yes, I really enjoy this bag. Um, I just think it's so cute. So anywho, I'm going to go. But that was just a quick review of some of my favorite things from the year. Okay, see ya.